champion from Uzbekistan. It's tremendous stuff from him, really was. And now, bring out his opponent to the ring. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing Iran. So here's the Cuban, Osvaldo Caballero. Second in the national selection tournament in 2020. Lost to Lazaro Alvarez in the final. Alvarez, who has been eliminated at an early stage here. Gold medalist at the Pan American Games in 2019. And this is Sanjad Mohamed Pour Samarin of Iran. Boxed in the Asian Championships back in 2017. Has boxed in APB. National champion multiple times. Experienced fighter. 16 months in age separates these two. Competition for places in that Cuban team at top international level, of course, so fierce. Caballero's opportunities on this kind of stage have been limited. When he won that Pan Am gold medal, it was against Duke Reagan of the USA in the final. Reagan, who had a good Olympic Games, of course, medalling there. And Caballero beat Umid Rustamov of Azerbaijan by unanimous decision in his opening round. Good all-round fighter, quick counters, nice sharp hands. Mohamed Pulsamarin got a bye, so this is the first time we've seen him. And he's in the blue, Caballero of Cuba in the red. Both of these two boxing out of the orthodox stance. Mohamed Paul Samarin just trying to put it on Caballero a bit in the early stages here. What he can't do is allow the Cuban to settle into a rhythm. And that's what he's doing his best to try and prevent the Cuban team. Just over my left shoulder here to support Caballero. Left of the body there from Caballero. Mohamed Paul Samarin pours forward looking for that big right hand. A bit of a clash of heads I think on the inside there. He just had a wipe at his forehead there, Mohamed Paul Samarin. But there's no damage I don't think. Left of the body there for Caballero. And this is a good fight to watch already because Mohamed Paul Samarin has come out aggressively. And it's good to see, because you do see fighters sometimes a little bit overawed by Cuban opposition, but he certainly isn't that. He wants to make this rough. He knows that he's going to get caught himself coming forward, and there is a cut there. There's a cut, I think, just below the right eye of Mohamed Poor Samarin, or it might just be on the corner. I'm not absolutely sure. And he's going to have to call time out here, the referee, and get this looked at. So. Hopefully it's not too bad. If the, if the fight stops at this point, it's a head clash. The referee just signalling there that it's a head clash, fist to fist. That tells you it was a head clash, accidental. So if the fight were to end here, we would go to the cards. The judges would score the minute and a half that we've seen. It's just underneath the eyebrow. Not in a great spot, to be honest with you. The blood there is probably going to run into the eye, although... Originally, it looked to me like it might be running clear. And he's going to continue here. I'm not totally convinced how long he'll be able to continue for. So when he wiped to that eye earlier on, that must have been when that occurred, I would imagine. Heading into the final minute of round one, Paul Summer and again just digs his feet in there. You can see the look on his face as he's looking to throw that right hand with real menace. The right hand came back there and bounced pretty much straight off that cut. Referee telling him to keep the head up. That horse has bolted, I'm afraid. He does get good purchase on those punches, Mohamed Paul Samarin. He's not afraid to step in. He commits to it. And it's taken mainly on the gloves, but even though you're hitting gloves, there's a solid look to the to the punch and it'll just keep Caballero a little bit honest. He's not going to take any liberties with Mohamed Paul Samarin, I don't think, because he can see that he's he's come here to do some damage if he can. Left to the body there from Caballero. 
And again, Mohamed Paul Samarin looking for that one two, trying for the big overhand right there, didn't land it. It's been an entertaining round this. A right hand just cuffs Caballero around the back of the head there, and he ends up on the canvas. No knockdown. Right hand to the body. That's a good shot from Mohamed Paul Samarin. Bell goes at the end of the round. Good round. Entertaining stuff. The Cuban had the better of it, but his opponent, as I said, there has come to fight. That might sound like a really obvious thing to say. This is the World Championships after all, but if you watch international amateur boxing, you'll know that sometimes people find themselves up against Cubans and, and they look to just cover up and get through the rounds if they feel that they can't really match them. And Mohamed Paul Samarin has absolutely not come here to do that. He's dropped that opening round, but he's putting plenty into this, showing some ambition. Wonder where the head clash happened. That could have been it there, maybe. So, start of round two. Also, Caballero of Cuba in the red. He won that opening round. Sancho Mohamed Paul Samarin of Iran in the blue. And again, he just steps in, sets his feet, and looks to really bang with that right hand. Down to the body, up top, straight right that time. He's having success with it. Covers up nicely, Caballero, for the most part. That right taken often on the gloves, on the forearms. And Caballero. Just dipping to his left and looking for a, a lead uppercut there. Didn't quite work out for him. Hamid Paul Samarin stumbling as he came forward there. And there is a count. I'm not sure if there necessarily needed to be one there. I thought the feet might have come together and caused that, caused that descent to the canvas. But the referees decided to give the standing count. And the doctor is going to be called over here to look at the cut and the referee signalling there that it was a punch that caused it so what he's saying there I think is that there is a separate cut just above the eyebrow maybe or the original cut has been worsened but by a punch and they've stopped the fight so this will go to the scorecards and Caballero will go through and the fact that the Referee signaled that second time around there that the damage was caused by a punch. That would suggest that this will be a referee stop contest injury, although the original cut came from a head clash. He signaled the second time around that the further damage, I think, or maybe it is a second cut, hard to tell, has been caused by a punch. So that will be RSCI. So through he goes, Garcia into the round of 16. He will be in with Arta Bazayan, who, as we know, has had two walkovers. Well, that was the right hand that caused the stumble, and it was a clean punch, so the referee, I think, was, was right there, actually, to call the, the standing count. 